All right, art friends. I got an epic, crazy haul video, and my keys are jingling. This is gonna be professional. All right, I moved my keys. Okay, we're gonna start with the kind of boring stuff. I got a couple of spray bottles for like, you know, spraying water. Oh, and those, I got bell jars too, because they're cool. And, yep, there we go. Boring stuff first. Next, I got some tacky tacky. You know, this, this stuff is pretty tacky. So, it's, it's for sticking stuff. You like that, it's good. And my computer made a noise, ignore that. All right, next we got some washi tape. So I can stop stealing my wife's. But I probably will anyway, cause she's got lots of different sizes. So washi tape for masking. Oh my gosh. So we got washi tape for masking stuff. Which is awesome. Who doesn't like masking stuff? What's handy for watercolor stuff, right? There, we'll show you. Oh, lovely. Here we go. You know, I'm making uh, nice borders. I like that, it looks neat. Little, little teaser, if you're not on Instagram and you don't follow me there. Okay, now we're getting into some fun stuff. Watercolor pencils. Yeah. Some of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Some of it's from, what's it called? Uh, Amazon. I'm still waiting for one thing from Amazon and I'll explain that. But here are my watercolor pencils from Hobby Lobby. $10.99, ignore that. 50% off, guys. So if they suck, that's okay. It was like five bucks. Okay, six. But they don't suck too bad. I mean, what I want to do, okay, this is what I did here. Quick little explanation. I used my watercolor pencils. I used a yellow and a brown to make a sketch. Um, and then I kind of negative painted and then did the, the you know, the leaf. And it worked out good. The lines like disappeared and whatnot, which is which is what I was going for. And I could go back in with the pencils and add like detail, more detail, and render this out even more, which would be cool. And I might actually do that. I don't know yet. I did this last night. Last night, yeah. Um, pencils. Oh, if you actually want to see the pencils. Ooh, look at that, that looks pretty. I kinda kept the more normal, normal colors, like the ones I'm probably gonna use more over here, and then I put the other ones over here. It's my little to-go bag or whatever. I actually just organize this. Got some, this isn't new stuff, but you know, it's still, Cool, I guess, you know, dip pins, pins, uh, these things, which I don't really use. All right, we got tacky, we got watercolor pencils. What's next? How about some Arteza brushes? Hashtag not sponsored. So that's cool. Um, I was gonna get the, the Pintel brushes. I think it's a pack of three for 15. But these were $9.99 and you get four. Now, two of them are the thin tips. And from what I've read, people don't like the thin tips. So I'm gonna fill one with ink. Like this. I've got this one that I filled with ink. But this is, I don't know, it doesn't work very well. So I'm gonna try one of these. I mean, it works, but I've actually got three of them that I filled with different kind of washes, a dark wash, 
a gray wash, and then pure black or Indian ink. It could just be the Indian ink and I'm ruining, you know, good pens. But, you know, this is only gonna, I'm only gonna ruin one of these and not all three of them. The rest I'll, I'm gonna try using for my watercolor. Since the other watercolor brushes I got were from like, or also, uh, what's that store? I just said it, Hobby Lobby. So these ones were from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, the barrel of that one is green because that likes to suck up the color and that's flipping annoying. This one works better-ish, but the brush doesn't really come to a great point. I mean, these were cheap for Hobby Lobby standards, so I guess I shouldn't complain. All right, let's get into the the painting type stuff, the watercolor stuff. We'll start with this. It kind of goes with the water brushes, but not really because it's for real brushes. It's a little palette, uh, palette cut. And it's cool because it's got a rubber seal, which is pretty awesome. We don't want it leaking everywhere. That would not be awesome. That would be the opposite of awesome. That would be sucky if water leaked everywhere. So I think I'll do a review of these ones because the only Arteza water brushes that I can find reviews of are the ones with the red little pushy button thingy. And I didn't like those. I wanted the ones that kind of look like the rip off of the Pintel. Pintel? Uh, I'll put the name here. Those brushes. I don't know, because people have used ink in those other ones, and so I thought this might work. Well, I guess we'll see. All right, we'll set these kind of over here. Next, should we do paint? Yeah, let's do paint. Okay, first, well, actually, first, I got another, another, um, a Canson watercolor. It was an add-on item on Amazon. It was like five bucks, which wasn't bad. It's pretty much Walmart price, but that's what I made my my sketchbook out of was this paper, and it seems to be. I I got a lot. Uh, it seems to be fine. I like it. Um, it'll work for now. You know, it's cheap, kind of cheap quality. You know, decent bang for your buck type watercolor paper. I like that. Um, I haven't tried. A lot of different kinds. Um, I got the Strathmore here the other day, and I'll show you what's in here in a minute. But this is okay, but I don't think you can go on the back. Um, that that Canson watercolor paper you can go on both sides, which is better for the sketchbook because you know doing both sides. All right, first up is a travel palette. For those of you who haven't been following my videos, this is the paint that I've been using. I picked it up at Wally Mart for five bucks during Inktober to add some color to my stuff. And here's the palette. I really like the look of the palette, that's cool. This is the only two paints I have right now. and. You know, it's not bad. You know, I got 12 colors for like five bucks and they seem to work fine for sketchbook stuff. It's not like super chalky. And if you rub it, it, it doesn't come off. Um, I'm a watercolor noob, if you couldn't tell. But that's what I've been using. And I wanted, I wanted to explore some more paints. And while at Hobby Lobby, like I said, the Master's Touch stuff is 50% off. Not only did I get some Christmas presents for the kids, because my kids are kind of arty also, but I got this. So it's $12.99 normally. So it was like six bucks again. Six bucks for this little palette. And I, I've already opened it. This isn't an unboxing. And I even found some stickers <laughs> put on it because they make me happy. Don't judge me. 
Anyway, here we go. It's a cool little palette. Look how cute this thing is. This is awesome. And the paint's not bad. Um, here's a swatch of that new of the paint. You know, and it's not it's not bad. The black comes up a little bit, but I like it. And I've you know I've done a little bit. I did a little bit of the leaf with that orange, but we'll we'll get to more on that. I might change some of those paints. Okay, next up, 1999. No, scratch that. On sale, ten bucks. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell this to you guys. I just I think it was a good deal. These metal tins cost 10 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. If I don't like the paint, well, well, it'll become like a studio palette. The one thing I don't like about it is the, the palette's not exactly white. But here we go. But that's okay. It's kind of a purple, but you know, I know how to work paint, believe it or not. Not necessarily watercolor, but I know how to use a spray can, so. I can repaint this if I need to. Um, but it's a cool palette. I mean, I know all of you guys have seen these. Oh, and everything on YouTube looks a lot bigger than it is in real life. <laughs> I used to tell my wife that. Anyway, so I don't have a quarter, but I've got a guitar pick. There's a guitar pick. Some of you that might be helpful, some of you it might not be. But you know, half pens are kind of small. But I use the the gambage and the kind of the yellow ochre. <laughs> and I did a swatch of these. These are my swatches for this. And I haven't made uh, the square like crazy card yet. I think I'll do a, a half card. I don't want to paint every color twice. Um, uh, who's got time for that? Nobody. Okay. So these are the colors that are in the set. Some of them are pretty useless, but some of them are cool. But <laughs> some of the names are great. Like this blue right here, which actually looks a lot like the cobalt. It's called Shamrock. Now, I might be a paint noob, but when I think of Shamrock, I think of, you know, maybe this leaf green. <laughs> maybe they should have just gone with numbers. But the other one, you know, yellow ochre, I, you know, that's kind of what yellow ochre looks like, I think. I don't know. I've only seen it on YouTube. All right, like I said, I'm a, I'm a watercolor noob. But the paints work fine. Now, they look kind of cruddy up here and that's what I was talking about this paper that's the back side of this paper and when I came down here I did a lot of this mixing with those paints and and then they're fine oh I don't know why I'm covering up that swatch right, so these paints they're good I like them um, again uh, not super chalky or anything like that that I can tell but this goes to this. Now you guys have probably seen this set. Oh, I took it out of the box. I, I didn't do an unboxing. Okay, it says $29.99. And I was fighting buying this at Hobby Lobby because I know it's like $15 on Amazon. And then I remember the 40% off coupon and this thing only caught me like $18. So I'll pay for convenience. A couple bucks, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Support Hobby Lobby so they don't go out of business like the Kmart my town is, which is really sad. But anyway, you know, here's the original swatch card thingy. And and then I moved them around. No, I didn't. I left them like that. Okay, and here are the paints. Now, what I'm gonna do, I really like this box, it's cool. And, and cute and I can take it with me to the coffee shop or whatever but I'm gonna take some paints out of this box because I don't need such a big box right now and I don't need all these colors just yet and I'm gonna take 
This box, the Primi, Prima, yeah, pre, Primi, uh, Prima. And I'm gonna take out this pink. I'm gonna take out the gray, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take out the white. Cause I got white gouache on the way. That's the one thing I can't show you guys because it's it, it's not here yet. It's supposed to be here today, but it got lost or something. I don't know. I'm gonna take those out and I'm gonna take the orange out. Why am I gonna take the orange out? Because this red and yellow make that orange like perfect. It makes a really good orange. So I'm gonna take those out. And then from my bigger kit, I'm gonna put in the, I'm gonna put in the yellow ochre. I'm gonna put in the yellow ochre, the cremine. Whatever that says is purpley red because I only have like one red and one yellow. So I'm gonna put in the yellow ochre, the purpley red, uh, gambage. So I'll have three yellows, two reds, no orange. I don't need an orange because I can make orange. I'm gonna take out the pink, the gray, and the white. And I'm also gonna put the burnt sienna, you know, I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> yep, well you get the idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this palette a little bit and put some of those paints in there. But I got something else on the Amazon. And what did I get on the Amazon? Well, I got that. Now you're probably going to say, well, you won't even use those other paints because you got the Windsor & Newton. You might be right. You might be right. But I have three kids, so these paints will get used. But I'll tell you my plan here in a second. Oh, two minutes. Okay, quick coffee break. Oh, oh, I hit the mic. Coffee break. All right, 10 minutes on that camera, that'll work. My DSLR only records for 19 minutes. Anyway. Now that I've had my coffee. So, I know this is still like student, student grade. And this is a cool little palette. I know that this can go here. This comes out, it's like a freaking chance transformer. If you, it's got plenty of room. This might be my go-to take, take me away palette. I mean, check that out, how cool is that? It's a freaking transformer, I love it. You know, I mean, this is pretty cool too, but I, I gotta admit that Winter Newton is neat. And, these paints are supposed to be pretty decent for student quality. They're probably better than my master's touch and they have all the light fast information and it looks like a better arranged palette. You know, there's no black, which I don't know how I feel about, you know, since I'm a noob, I'm sure some of these colors make black and I'm just going to have to figure that out. I know people don't like having black because, you know, oh, I can mix my own black. And I've, I've tried a couple times, but I haven't gotten quite to black yet. So, it makes such more of an interesting black. I don't know what that means. It, I, on YouTube, they all look the same. It looks like black, so it's hard to see. So let's just do this. But as you can see, these are still wrapped up, and I haven't swatched anything yet but you know I, I think this is cool I'm stoked what are you gonna do with all those paints well I'm gonna paint with them you know I got lots of paper so I'm gonna use the paints and I'm gonna do some open air stuff it's supposed to be getting a little bit nicer weather it's been super cold but we've got a cute little cafe in town, and if I go out of town, too, I can do that. But, I mean, with all, 
With all this, you know, I probably could have got a five set of something nicer. I understand that. But here's my plan, guys. I want to make my own paint. What? I know. But I do. I want to make my own paint. Um, not only because it looks like a heck of a lot of fun, but it'll help me learn colors more. I'm using these sets to figure out what colors I like. So if I don't buy a, a like a kit of pigment, I can pick pick what pigments are going to be best for me and how I paint. Because I don't really have a style yet. Uh, that's going to be loud. I really don't have a style yet, so I'm going to use these paints to help me figure that out while I save up to get my paint making stuff. So that's cool. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my own perfect artist quality paints because that sounds like a lot of fun and you get a lot more, you get a lot more paint for the money, I think. And I enjoy that kind of stuff. So there it is guys, my art haul. And hopefully future videos of me making paint and struggling. <laughs> I've already, actually this is gonna come out after my prime color video, which I used only prime colors. Here's my little Lego palette. If you guys wanna make a Lego palette, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is cut out the centers with like a, I used a Zacto knife and that was the thing. Okay, there we go. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe or dislike or whatever, you know. Tell me down below what you want to see next. If you want to see a review of my cheap paints from a, a noob a new painter then we can do that I can arrange that even if you want to see a review of this set I can do that I can already tell you I'm gonna like this this not necessarily I mean I'm sure the paints are fine um, I'm gonna I like the palette I think the palette's sweet and that was worth the 18 bucks so even if I end up not liking those paints which everybody likes those paints so I think I, I don't know. You probably don't need to see a review of the paints. There's a million of these, but there's not a million reviews of these paints and of this, this one. So, you know, if you want to see a new review of those, let me know. And I hope you guys have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Any ideas. That was kind of awkward. That's okay. Awkward can be fun. I should shut up now. That probably should be a thing. But I don't want